por atrás aquí y después saca a Pablo que ha llegado aquí y I was looking at it work like he usually does, you know. It looked like walking out there looked like the track was very, very fast, so I, I you know, I knew he was gonna skip right along, so I didn't Kelvin looked up at me at the quarter pole, I didn't wave him on any because I thought he might have been I still don't know what he went in. One thirteen. Yeah. That's that that ended up being just about what we were looking for. So and he looked like he galloped out decent, so yeah, I didn't want him to go too fast because I didn't want him to. He's al already a little, already a little more on the bridle with the blinkers on, so we didn't want him to go past the point, especially going a mile and a quarter. So we didn't definitely didn't want him going any faster than that. So we were happy. Yeah, I mean, I was amazed when I first got up here. You know, and looking at him now, I think he's even put on 15, 20 pounds, and he's handled it really well. And you know, this morning's breeze. It just looked like he was galloped along nice and easy, and you look down at the times, and, but you know, that's what good horses do. They make it look easy, and you know, he's pulling out in great shape, and you know, we'll probably, I'm sure Jimmy will do a little quick sprint on with him on Thursday like he's normally done, but he's doing wonderful, and you know, he's grown up, and he's, he, he looks the part now, and you know, he belongs, so hope for the best.